Yeah. We're going. Yep. Right, so in today's video, I'm going to separate ethanol from your normal E10 fuel gasoline, depending on where you're from in the world. So I'm going to show you how to separate with this, with a bit of this in, and then with a bit of this in as well, which is your E10. Uh, you, when you take it out, uh, take the E10 out of the fuel. Uh, this is like your octane booster. I'm going to put this I'll in. Put as five well. liters of E10 fuel from the petrol station. Obviously, I've got my octane booster, which you will need that a few capfuls at the end. And I have got 500 ml liters of water to add to my five liters. So obviously, if you go to 10 liters, you will need 10. Uh, a thousand milliliters of water. So all I'm going to do oh, is, I know that's fine. fine that. As long as it's showing the stuff, that's brilliant. So I'm just going to add a little, a few drops to the water food coloring. That was like half the bottle. And all I'm going to do is uh, mix it round. Now, if you're wondering why I'm putting water into uh, the fuel, it's because the uh, the fuel will separate from the water, obviously because the water is more denser. Oh, sorry about that. Pause. Hey folks, so, as you can see, I have got my uh, 5 litres of ethanol e10 fuel and i have got my 500 mils of water it has been shaken vigorously uh, and i will explain again to the viewers why i'm doing this uh, the reason i'm doing this is because it is full of ethanol and it's no good for i.e your carbs your strimmer carbs your, your low mower carbs your classic cars it will always get that white dusty powder uh, when it's dried and it's been stood a while so this is why I'm doing it for the benefit of that. Uh, obviously, it's really, you know, it, it, it doesn't cost much at all to take it out. You've just got to have, you know, things like this. And you, you can do it different ways, but this is the way I'm going to show you and my way. Uh, so what I've done, like I said, I've got five litres of fueling uh, ethanol E10, as we like to call it, gasoline, uh, obviously gasoline in America or wherever you are. And I have got water at the bottom there, 500 ml, which I've poured in with some dye. So, it has been sat a good uh, over 12 hours now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to carefully uh, pour the tub over and start to slowly take the water out now this is the only trickiest part you will find uh, obviously so this job pour the water is. out as you can see Now, I'll let that settle for a second, and then uh, I'll just move you back a bit there. There we go. So, as you can see, I have got most of that water out of that fuel. You're not going to get it 100% out. I mean, there's ways and means you can do it, sticking tubes in, etc., and get it out that way but for what's in there is is not going to hurt now where are we there now if you look there now i have explained to you before in the previous clip when i was setting it up that the water will stick uh, the ethanol will stick to the water obviously because it's more denser uh 
Now, what will happen is, when it sticks to the water, when it's vigorously shaking, it'll stick to the water, the ethanol, and drop out the fuel. And that's why it's a good method to split it up. Now, I put 500 mil of uh, water in here. Now, as you can see, it's drawn out just over 600 there, or just under, of ethanol. So it has worked. So I think that is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So what I'm going to do now is this is the part most people forget or this is what I'm going to this is what I suggest anyway. So that is my clean ethanol free as much as I can for you. So what I'm going to use now is my octane booster, okay? So all I'm going to do, crack it open. There we go. And I'm just going to put a couple of drops in, okay? Well, I'd say, I'll tell you what. What, what we got in here? 444ml. Right. So, I'm going to use the cap, that'll be easier for you, because it doesn't need to be quite a lot. So there's one, two, three. So I've put three caps of Octane Booster in there, so now, obviously that is going to give your engine uh, three times more boost than most others. So it says pour an entire bottle into a tank. By the way, but obviously we're not putting 94 liters in it. So that is going to give your mowers, strimmers, etc. The boost it needs. What's in the V power up fuel? What you get over in the the pumps? What's a bit dearer? So all I'm going to do now is uh, obviously pour it back into my can. As easy as that. So I'll just bring it forward. Splitting your ethanol from your E10 fuel or obviously gasoline or wherever you're from in the world. So that's what I like to do. So now, obviously just discard your, so obviously now just discard your water, what's got the ethanol in, uh, your local tip, etc. And like I said, now you've got your fuel, you will have your full 5 litres when I pour it in. And then you're ready to go with your octane boost. So don't forget if you like the channel, and you like the content, what you've just saw, you got any questions please don't hesitate to drop the comments in the below drop your comments in the below and uh, thanks for watching stay safe god bless you all